Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and Microsoft has been working on the new version of Windows, Windows 10X for quite a while now. And the good news is a pretty much final build of Windows 10X has leaked. Well, I have it installed on this laptop here and it has quite a few changes. There's a whole new UI, a few new apps, security improvements and a lot more. So let's check out what's new with Windows 10X. Before we talk about that, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for this video. Wondershare PDF Element, which I think is a great tool if you work with a lot of PDFs. I mean, it has all the important features you need. You can edit PDFs, add text in them, watermarks, images, objects. You can even crop PDF files. There's also the ability to convert PDFs to other popular file formats like Word, Excel, HTML, etc. Search for text, OCR functionality, and there's support for batch processing with most features. Plus, I like that PDF Element works across devices with a single account, be it Windows, Mac, iOS or Android. There are a lot more features and it's much cheaper than Adobe Acrobat, so check out PDF Element from the link in the description below. So this is Windows 10X and let me make it very clear, Windows 10X is not an update for Windows 10 devices. In fact, Microsoft won't even release an ISO file for it. Windows 10X is basically a separate platform designed to take on Chrome OS and it will only come with new devices. Anyway, I have Windows 10X running on an emulator here and even when I put it to full screen, it still shows up like this. So I'm going to show it to you via screen recording. Okay, so the biggest change I've noticed in Windows 10X is that everything is simplified. First up, the new setup experience is a big change. It's cleaner and there's no annoying Cortana voice control here, which I'm really happy about. And second, the whole UI is cleaner and less cluttered. Let me show you. So this is the new Windows 10X desktop. Yeah, this looks nothing like the Windows 10 desktop. There's this new taskbar with center line tiles. You get an all new start menu here, which also looks so much cleaner than Windows 10 start menu. See in Windows 10, the start menu shows all these live tiles and just too much clutter. But in 10X, you get a clean layout with apps and a universal search bar up top, which lets you search for apps, files, and even the web. I really like this. I've also noticed new cool animations. You get this really cool animation when clicking on the start menu as well as on the app switcher. Plus app icons bounce when you minimize windows which is also a neat touch. One thing I really like here is that on tablets you can swipe anywhere on the taskbar to open the start menu. That's really important because the start menu is in the center now and that would be difficult to tap on for large touchscreen devices so yeah that's nice. There's also the new action center with quick action tiles like do not disturb, location, rotation lock etc. You will also see your notifications here and also control music and the volume. Apart from that, you can drag apps to the left or the right edge to snap them and this way you can run apps side by side. I mean, there's no way to resize app windows right now and I don't think that's coming because there's only two buttons here, minimize and close. Lastly on the UI front is the wallpapers. So you get these two new wallpapers with Windows 10X but it will reportedly also come with dynamic wallpapers similar to those in Mac OS as well. So I am excited about that. Now, apart from all the cool UI changes, there's one thing I noticed. See, even though this Windows 10X build is running on an emulator, it's really smooth and responsive, which is important because Windows 10X is supposed to be a lightweight version of Windows, sort of like a Chrome OS competitor. I mean, sure, this is a leaked build, so there are a few bugs, but those will be ironed out by the time of release, hopefully. Overall, I think Microsoft has done a remarkable job with the design here, and I'm really happy to see a clutter-free UI. I mean, it was one of my biggest complaints with Windows 10 and Windows 10X seems to have fixed it. Moving on, let's take a look at apps. So as you can see here, Edge is pre-installed and there's also this new Files app here. As you can see, this is much cleaner than the File Explorer in Windows 10. It's less cluttered and looks better. Also, as you can see, there's only one drive showing in the Files app here and that's because Windows 10X is a web-first OS, just like Chrome OS, so all your files will be saved to one drive. You can connect external drives, but there's no way to save files locally in Windows 10X. In fact, you can't even create a local account in Windows 10X, it has to be a Microsoft account. Apart from Edge and the new Files app here, there's nothing. Well, that's because Windows 10X doesn't support x86 apps yet, which means most of your desktop apps won't really work. It only supports PWAs and UWP apps from the Windows Store. I mean, here's the Windows Store, which right now is kind of buggy on this build, but yeah, if you use apps from the store, you will be fine. Apart from that, you can install progressive web apps. For example, I can just open Spotify on Edge and then I can just add it as an app on Windows 10X and I can even pin it to the taskbar. 
If you're someone who wants to use traditional desktop apps on Windows 10X, well, Microsoft will be adding support for x86 apps in the future, but there is a way right now. See, Windows 10X does come with this remote desktop app to connect to Windows 10 PCs and use legacy apps there if you absolutely need them. Now I know what you must be wondering. Wasn't Windows 10X supposed to be for dual screen devices like the now delayed Surface Neo? And yes, you're right, but Microsoft has decided to first release 10X for regular clamshell laptops. And then next year or so, we'll finally get to see it in action on dual screen laptops, folding laptops, etc. That said, we have a pretty good idea of how Windows 10X will look on dual screen devices thanks to Microsoft's own emulator. Check this out. So yeah, this is how Windows 10X will look on a dual screen device. You can rotate this in different orientations, open apps side by side, and yeah, it's a little buggy right now, but you get the idea, right? I'm definitely excited to see Windows 10X in action on dual screen laptops. Well, that was all about design and visual updates, but what about improvements under the hood? Well, Windows 10X has a lot of those too. For example, Windows updates will be improved with Windows 10X. In fact, you won't even notice Windows getting updated for the most part. Windows will install the updates in the background, exactly like Chrome OS, and then a quick restart will get it already. That's so cool because right now Windows updates are a pain and I constantly try to ignore them. Then there's the security aspect as well. I mean, we all know Windows laptops are very prone to getting viruses and malware, etc. I mean, we all remember WannaCry, right? Anyway, with Windows 10X, Microsoft is making Windows more secure. Unlike regular Windows 10 versions where you have access to all files, be it system files or OS files, etc., Windows 10X will keep users limited to a user partition and apps will be sandboxed in their own containers. That means even if you do get a malware on your laptop, it won't be able to access files outside of its sandbox. And even if it does, it will still be limited to the user partition, which is great because your OS files will remain safe at all times. So yeah, Windows 10X definitely seems very interesting and it's clear that Microsoft wants to take on Chrome OS with this. It has a similar web-focused approach, a clean and minimal UI, which honestly just looks way more streamlined compared to regular Windows. Also, so far, I have found it to be quite responsive. Plus, there are things like the new Files app and faster updates. See, overall, in my usage so far, I think the Windows 10X experience is very similar to Chrome OS. I mean, there's still a long way to go for Windows 10X because app support is kind of lacking, but I think we will get a better idea when we get hands-on with new devices running Windows 10X. Laptops with Windows 10X are expected to come out in April, May 2021, so the wait won't be too long. So yeah, Windows 10X is right around the corner, but if you want to try it out right now, we have a detailed guide on how to set it up, so check it out. Anyway, what do you think about Windows 10X? Let us know in the comments. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.